Hey guys, back again, and today, guys, is random video, guys, random talk, random everything. It's to do with this big box of Wii games, guys. So, guys, as you guys may or may not know, I am actually being collected for the Wii. Started in January of this year, and the games are ridiculously cheap if you look around, guys. Every game in this box cost me about between £1.50 and £4 tops so far, guys. And I've realised I've picked up a quite a few bargains by looking on eBay and seeing the price they go for. Now, not all these came off eBay, guys. That's why I knew I got a good bargain. I have got more games to still arrive, guys. I'm waiting for Mario Galaxy 1, 2, and a few others to arrive, guys. But these games cost me an extra nothing, guys. And I think this is probably the biggest bargain I got. Um, picked up Super Mario All-Stars, guys, and I've seen this game going for 25 quid. I didn't know it was that expensive, guys. I'd never seen this game in the wild, and literally, wife found this one, and she brought it up to me and said, you know, have you got this one? I said, no. She's like, well, they're asking £2 for it. Do you want it? I said, yeah. Picked it up, guys. Doesn't have a manual, but the disc itself is mint. Absolutely mint, which is quite a rarity, guys, for um Wii games. So if you guys can see, it's mint. No scratches whatsoever. And, um, you know, a lot of these games are actually mint. I have actually been very lucky and not got anything scratched as of yet. Um, there's only one game that is scratched, and I'm going to replace that one, guys. That's 4x4. Uh, racing. I've actually got a replacement coming for that, so that's all right. We've got some shovelware like football, high school, bloody musical, and stuff, guys. Not many games like this are in here, but the wife said she'll have a go at these ones and have a look at them. So I said, fair enough. Picked up Hell's Kitchen, guys. Love the Hell's Kitchen. Got some boom blocks, got some Titanic mystery games. My wife loves the mystery click and find thing games. Now, this, guys, like this box is full. Actually, for there were 100 games in here, guys. There's a second Boom Blocks game. But what I want to make a video on, guys, is this. Um, even though I'm obviously creating for the Wii and I, and I enjoyed the games on the Wii, one thing always annoys me about the WII or the Wii is the control systems, guys, right? They had a great idea, but they just pushed it too far. Um, I'll give you an example of that now, guys, right? Here is... Indiana Jones. Now, look, Lucas Arts, great company behind it, all of that. Turn it over, guys, and it does not support controller access. At least it doesn't say on there it does. You gotta have the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. And that might play great, guys. But after about 10 minutes, it's gonna get very annoying and very boring, and that's gonna piss me off. Um you know, some of the spines were great. Like they had these nice colours on them. But a lot of the bloody Wii games, like this Mario here, ended up like this. Which was shit, because you couldn't... They all run into one, guys. They all run into one. But, you know, the cover arts on these Wii games were amazing. Really, it was like a boom block. See, look at that. That's nice and colourful and brilliant, guys. So, yeah. Um, There's just a thing like that, though, guys. I mean, like, you see here, guys, we've got darts. I like playing a good bit of darts. Had I think I've got this game on the PlayStation 3. I think it's a 2009 one. But just pick that up, put that on there. That's it. And, um, yeah, that's a lot more fun to play, obviously, on a, on a joypad than it is with the nunchucks and stuff like that. If you come to the back again, guys, you can see it's just supported by the nunchuck and the Wii Remote. And you can see he's holding the Wii Remote. And that is how you throw the darts. Now, don't get me wrong. That might actually play pretty damn good. Because to simulate you got a dart and you throw it. Could be awesome, guys. You all might, might not know. I've got my own dart board. I've got a Ted Hankey one. Which not the best one to have now. After finding out the conspiracy around him. So probably going to try and get a better dart board later. <laughs> get a stellar one. Now, I've heard a lot about this game, guys, Wii Music. I've never played this game in my life. Uh, some people said this is an amazing game. I don't know whether it is or it isn't, so I am looking forward to giving it a go, guys. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this isn't a show the Wii game collection off, guys. I'll do that at a later date. I just wanted to go, go over a few titles, guys, and explain my love-hate relationship with the Wii, guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, like, these sort of games, guys, are amazing. These guys, these games thrive on the Wii. 
have no problem with them on any console, but on the Wii, they're really good as well. Got no problems with them. Um, no, I do not know what this game's all about, the Doctor Who one. Um, didn't even know this existed on the Wii. They've got that one as well, guys. I don't know what that is either. But these games, like I said, guys, all these games were stupidly cheap. They're, even the games I'm still picking up for it, guys, are stupidly cheap. So even if they're not very good, you know, or they are really hard to get used to, it doesn't matter, guys, because they, so, they were so freaking cheap, you're not really going to waste your money and stuff like that, guys. So, you know, Worms Space Odyssey, guys. See, now, I think this one is controller... No, it's not. It's only... The Wii Remote. Now, however, the Wii Remote is still a controller. As you guys can see, it does have the um, the buttons and everything. So, that, you know, that not every game was difficult to play on the Wii. It's just when it comes to that bloody motion control thing. It's, oh, my God, it's hard. But one game that really suppressed for the Wii was the Wii Sports game. Now, I do actually have it, guys, in a proper case without the cardboard sleeve. It is the proper, proper release in the case, so I'm really happy about that. But the Wii had such so many quirky titles, guys. That's why we started collecting for the Wii again, because I had a Wii when it first came out, and I enjoyed it, guys. Really did enjoy it. But... No, so the controllers really put me off a little bit, but I, I did enjoy it, guys. And, you know, back then, it was like, wow, this is fucking awesome, you know. Then Xbox tried to capitalize by bringing out the Kinect, and that was that was okay and that. But, you know, PlayStation did it before anybody, really. They did it when they brought out the iToy camera, but, you know, that was the start of it, really. But look at games like this one, guys. Job Island. Hard-working people. Exciting mini games by Hudson, so you know that's gonna be pretty damn fun. Hudson makes some good games in the day. Can't believe Hudson though; they made bloody um, what was it? Battle uh, bloody raw. Go from bloody raw to making games like this, but this still looks fun as you can see, guys. Look, stunt person, stunt person, babysitter, crane operator. Don't have any idea, guys. I'm looking forward to giving it a go though. I find these games so quirky and, you know, random that it's fun to play. I mean, like, we got fishing here, guys. Fishing! There's this big catch, bass fishing. Could be fun, could be fun. 505 Games, ooh, don't know about that one. But, you know, they, they've, they've come a long way, to be honest. Again, though, no controller support. A lot of them ain't got controller support. I really haven't. But I didn't realise, guys, yeah, the Wii's that old. It didn't even come as an HDMI uh compatible console i didn't even realize that guys till picking up a wii in january again and i was like wow it doesn't even have an hdmi port i thought wow it's really that old didn't know it's that old guys didn't i seriously seriously didn't because the wii u obviously has got a um hdmi port uh pirates of the caribbean guys just for randomness i said i'm not doing a complete uh show guys just like you can see there's loads in there there's th uh, three rows like that in here uh, and three rows on that side, like that in here, and then they're like this then for the rest of the way up. Like I said, I've got a fair few games, guys, and I just wanted to make a video on it, guys, just to explain that they're dirt cheap, guys. Absolutely dirt cheap. I mean, I think this game was only 50p. 50p, guys, and it doesn't look great, but because I don't understand tops, cards, I don't even know what they're about. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see about this one, guys. Uh, might be obviously horrible, might be, might be a hidden gem. I don't know, guys. We'll have to see about that. Heard a lot about this game, I'm always hearing a lot about this Mad World. And, um, I've not got, I've never played it, guys. I've heard a lot of people play, say it's a great game, so I'll look forward to giving it a go. Wife's looking forward to this one. I asked, because so I, I did get rid of other um, dance games she wasn't bothered about, but she said she wanted these ones, so she likes playing them. Everyone's prerogative. It's not really for me. The dancing games aren't for me. I don't like looking like a Waldo, but, you know. Rayman! Can't be a bit of Rayman. Now, I think I've got two copies of this game, guys, yeah, but I can't find my other copy until we now, because some of them are packed away, as you guys know. So it's just a matter of waiting and seeing. And by the way, guys, we've got great news coming uh, about our move and stuff, guys. So stay tuned for that because I don't want to say too much at the moment, but it's, it's looking really good, guys, and I'm really happy with that. So that's good. So, yeah, we've got uh, this one. There's a fair few in there, guys, fair few in here. But, you know, that, I'm not bothered about this one, guys. But the wife said she wanted to have a look at this one herself because she likes cartoon games. But I really didn't want to keep this one because well, I'm never going to play it, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm never going to play it. If you're a Ben 10 fan, great. Fantastic. But I weren't brought up on this show. I was brought up on Dexter's Laboratory and 
Powerpuff Girls and, you know, Top Cat and Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes and, and you know, all that sort of era. Johnny Bravo and all that. Ned Newton and stuff. I weren't brought up on Ben 10. That's past me. By that period, I was watching um, Dragon Ball Z, guys. So there, we've got the active one. Rabbids go home, so on and so forth, guys. Broadway dance. Another active game. My Sims. Like I said, guys, this bin's got... This bin, this I've got a box, guys, bin, box, whatever, yeah? It's got over nearly 200 games in it. Probably has got 200 games in it. Because the last time I counted, there were 160. And then I just got another 50. So, yeah, there's 210 in here. And now we're getting another 20 come. So, you know, the, the week collection's getting up with a quick, guys. I'm nearly finished with it. I've just got to get uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I might pick up Kirby's Adventure as well. Maybe. I don't know. Really don't know, guys. Then we're going to move on and get ourselves a Wii U and start with the Wii U collection, guys. Not going for a full PAL collection. I'll just go for what I can get. If we end up getting a full PAL collection, then, well, hey, awesome, you know. I won't say no, but I'm, I'm not striding for it, guys, because some of the games on there now are starting to really, really, like, rock it up, guys. And... I'm just not down to, to spend a hundred and fifty, two hundred pounds on a game now. That's probably only gonna get played three or four times every year, I should say. So, you know, it's not really worth that for me. But, you know, some people out there wanted to get the full PAL collection, guys, and that is up to them. Good. Good on you, that's what I say, good on you. Everyone has to have a full collection of some description. So, yeah, that's how I've got them stacked at the moment, guys. But, yeah, I just want to make a video, guys. A bit random, I know, but I want to make it on the Wii. Ex explain, like I said, my love-hate relationship for it. I said the games on it were, were pretty damn good, to be honest. It had some really good, solid titles. Um, especially, like, the Mario ones. But the problem I've got with it is that control scheme. Uh, if you can look past that, like I do for most of these games, and you know, I go on there, I have 10, 15, 20, an hour sometimes, gameplay on it, and then i got to go put it down because the control schemes are annoying me, but, you know, you never know, no, you never know. I might, I might, might better get a lot of these done. I'm going to get an Elgato, as you guys know, and then I'll be recording gameplays on these games and other games, guys, because I will be getting an HDMI converter for it. Or I'll play them on the Wii U because the Wii U does do straight HD MI. I'm not sure, guys. So, you know, we'll get around to doing that and seeing, guys. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, when we get things done, I will show you guys the collections we own if you guys want to see them. I will put a video out like this, guys, and then you guys can comment down below and let me know which console you want to see our collection in this entirety because I'm not the only gamer in this house, guys. My wife is a heavy gamer too. She loves video games. She loves her Switch. She loves the DS. And she's a massive PlayStation fan as well. She's not so much an Xbox fan only because she doesn't like the controller. She finds it a little bit more heavy and bulky in her hands because my wife's got small hands and she finds that that controller is a little bit more heavy and a little bit more hard to hold rather than more uncomfortable than the PlayStation controllers. I understand that. I mean, my hands are massive compared to some people, so I I, I can, uh, you know, I don't mind. I really don't mind. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, random video, like I said. Hopefully you guys understand the video and don't just see that I'm trying to just make random stuff all the time. I wanted to make this on the uh, Wii and get people's opinions on what you think of the Wii. Like, do you like the Wii like I do for the, the game titles that's in it, like so? And you love the games, but you do also get frustrated like I do with the control scheme. Do you not wish you could just turn off the motion controller and have it as a, a controller games? Because they've got a controller out there for it, but half these games don't support it. I think this one does. Yeah, see, this one supports it. So it focuses. Please focus. Focus. Come on. Focus. There we go, guys. So, yeah, this one does support it. So you'd think, like, all games would support it that are to do with, like non-motion games for example i understand this one's a motion game <clears throat> because you gotta throw the dart but it's on playstation 3 and you don't have to you should better turn that off um so yeah you know what i'm saying 
It's just a bit like that, guys. That's all. But anyway, guys, I'll wrap it up here. Been recording for nearly 15 minutes. Blow me now. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked this video. Let me know down below, guys, what you seriously think about the Wii Slash and Wii U. Don't mind. Both sitting on similar consoles. Let me know, guys, what you think. Are you collecting for the Wii or Wii U yourself? Is there a certain game you absolutely loved and enjoyed about this console? And what put you off it? For me, my favorite game, guys, on the Wii U is going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, on the Wii U, it's uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, and on the Wii, probably Wii Sports, guys, because I love to play in the baseball, and I love to play in the bowling, guys, so, yeah, they're my favourite games on the Wii and Wii U, guys, now, if you want to get involved in this as well, guys, for a little bit of a fun, a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of a conversation of the day, guys, let me know down below what your favourite Wii and Wii U game is, and let me know what your critiques are with the consoles and on that note guys thanks very very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one